Hi everyone, it's Kimberly from the Westmont Public Library and today I'm going to do an art project uh, using one of the process art kits that are available for pickup at the library. And really what we're trying to do with this program is just to show you how you can use old materials you might already have at home to make something entirely new and creative all on your own. Let's see what we have in this bag here today. So now that I have all my supplies laid out in front of me, um, I have a pretty good idea of some different projects that I can get started on. Uh, like Miss Elizabeth had brought up in her earlier video, process art is really just about taking what's in front of you or the supplies you might already have at home, whether you have the kit we provided or your own materials and just really being as creative as you can um, and just seeing what you can make in the end. Um, so here I'm gonna start working on some of the projects that I see here and I hope you guys find some inspiration of your own. First thing I noticed was this penguin cutout, uh, but instead of filling it in with just markers, watercolors, crayons, something a little bit more traditional that way, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the puff balls and pipe cleaners that I found and then some of the glitter stickers. I just thought it would be a fun way to use some different materials for something a little bit more traditional and would make it a little bit more unique. I then decided to take a square of the cardstock that I found in my bag. And again, instead of using watercolors, I thought it would be fun to Mod Podge a couple layers of the tissue paper on it, just like this. And after it's had a little bit of time to dry, it looks just like this. I thought this would be a nice way to do a quick little collage of my other little penguin guy that I made and kind of make it look like a little bit of a like a postcard or just a little tiny piece of artwork.
For this next idea, I actually used a material that I had messed up from a previous craft. It's actually just a wood block that I had tried writing some words on, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the same technique that I did with the postcard in the last craft. Once my top layer is dry, I just trimmed off the edges of the excess, excess tissue paper. And then I just started pulling some of the other decorative materials that I found in the bag. I think I'm just going to start layering them around the edges of my little wood block here. And then basically after all of that decorating, I've decided that what this most looked like is actually just a skyline. So I'm gonna go ahead and use then some puffy paint that I already had at home and these cotton balls that I pulled just to kind of give it a little bit more textured and realistic appearance. I'm gonna pull these apart. So I'll have some wispy clouds in the backdrop of my landscape. And then I think all I'm going to do as far as my landscape, I'm just gonna make some mountain shapes. Just layer a few of them there. And just kind of go with what I think looks cool.
So after that project, I was a little pom-pom crazy, so I just decided to take that one lone big pom-pom that I pulled from the very beginning and just glue some additional materials that I found in the bag, like the googly eyes, uh, pom-pom nose, and then the glitter stickers. And after just a few minutes, and a curly cute tail, I made this little pig puff. Which I then decided would look really nice if I went ahead and took one of the felt flowers that I made from a very long program a lot I did a long time ago. And just give him a little bit extra decoration right on top. and just stick it right on top of his head. So I hope you guys all liked the video and those uh, little clips of what my process looked like. Again, each of your processes is gonna look a little bit different, um, but what's important is just that you have fun creating. Uh, this is what my final little mountain landscape ended up looking like. Um, here is what my penguin postcard finished like. And lastly, here is my little pig pom-pom friend. So again, I did not have very much of a, of a plan when I started this. I kind of just went with the flow, used the materials that were available to me, and had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys have fun doing this program too.